Wallace Lenning was a minister, photographer, author, furniture maker, and early 20th century visionary, and the objective of this video is to introduce you to Wallace Nutting, the man. Wallace Nutting was born in 1861 in Rock Bottom, Massachusetts. He had no middle name. His father, Albion Nutting, joined the Union Army in 1862, only nine months after young Wallace was born. Albion Nutting fought in the Civil War, he died in 1864, and was buried in Arlington National Cemetery. Hence, Wallace Nutting never knew his father. After the death of his father, Wallace's mother took him and his sister Edith to live with their grandparents in Industry, Maine. While attending high school in Maine, Wallace encountered some health problems that forced him to leave school for a while. He later attended Exeter Academy. Between 1863 and 1886, Wallace Nutting attended Harvard University, and during the summer months of those years, he held jobs in Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard, and Colorado. In 1886 to 1887, he attended the Hartford Theological Seminary in Hartford, Connecticut. In 1888, Wallace Nutting married Mary Griswold Caswell, who was a widow eight years his senior. They never had any children together. After serving pastorates in St. Paul, Minnesota, Newark, New Jersey, and Seattle, Washington, the Nuttings were summoned to serve at the Union Congregational Church in Providence, Rhode Island in 1894, where Wallace preached for much of the next decade. Right around the turn of the century, as relaxation from his preaching, Wallace Nutting began experimenting in the field of photography. He took some pictures, hand-colored them, and they sold quite easily. He eventually retired from ministry around 1904 and entered the photography business on a full-time basis selling nearly 10 million of his hand-colored photos over the next 40 years. We'll cover Wallace Nutting's hand-colored photos in another video. From 1905 until 1912, the Nuttings lived in Southbury, Connecticut, in a house they called Nutting Ham, which served as a home for them and as a studio for their picture business. In 1912, the Nuttings moved to Framingham, Massachusetts, in order to be closer to the larger Boston market. There, they lived in a home called Nutting Home, for the next 30 years. Wallace Nutting was also a world-famous author, writing nearly 20 books, many of which were republished several times due to public demand. We'll cover Wallace Nutting's books in another video. And Wallace Nutting developed an eye for fine early American antique furniture, and when he couldn't find what he wanted, he would reproduce it. We'll cover Wallace Nutting's reproduction furniture in yet another video. Wallace Nutting's business peaked around 1925, where, at one point, he had over 100 people working for him. Business steadily declined during the Depression years of the 1930s and, by his death in 1941, his business was almost inconsequential. But it was the synergy of Wallace Nutting's three primary endeavors, his pictures, his books, and his furniture, that have made almost anything connected to the Wallace Nutting name extremely collectible over the past 40 years. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope that you'll watch our other Wallace Nutting videos on YouTube as well. If you're seeking additional information on Wallace Nutting, we invite you to visit our website at www.wnutting.com. If you're seeking the value of any of your Wallace Nutting items, we encourage you to visit our website and click on the link that says, What's Your Picture or Print Worth? If you're selling Wallace Nutting pictures or furniture, we're always interested in acquiring quality items or you may want to consign them to one of our upcoming Wallace Nutting auctions. And if you really like Wallace Nutting, you may also want to consider joining the Wallace Nutting Collectors Club at www.wallacenutting.org.